5.30 with the Razorbacks' big win over Texas A&M and moving up in the rankings to number eight, there is plenty of hog hype in the state of Arkansas. And retailers, well, they're reaping the benefits. Jay Burr joining us from Hogman's Game Day Superstore. So, Jay, what are they saying about the start of the season? Uh, well, guys, it comes down to basically simple mathematics when it comes to this. Big wins equal big sales for any retailer who specializes in hog swag here in central Arkansas. Head coach Sam Pittman advises turning on the jukebox after Razorback wins. Ryan Ritchie with Rock City Tees has been turning on his t-shirt printer. We have an influx of orders and then leading up to the next game, you know, the orders just keep coming in. As the hogs stack wins, Ritchie been stacking up customers. Uh, we're probably seeing about 50% increase year over year. Over at Hogman's Game Day Superstore, they can't keep most items on their shelves. Hog hats are back ordered, and car stuff is zooming. This is where I had my car flag. Constantly, every day, bringing more merchandise because uh, we just can't keep it full enough right now. Oh, I mean, it's been tremendous. Cassie know, Duncan is the director of retail operations for Hogman's and says the hype around the schedule itself was good enough for them, but to win those old rival games has been a big boon for them also. I mean, of course, people were excited about football season, but now it's just a madhouse. I mean, as the weeks have gone by, I just want to buy more and more. Richie adding this team has Arkansas puffing its chest out with pride. Guts. I mean, you know, guys playing with their, playing with their heart, guys that actually want to be here playing for the team. Um, unbelievable coaching staff that obviously the guys can get behind and the whole state can get behind. That is very true. Duncan says the odds may not be in the Hogs' favor next weekend against Georgia, but... If the Hogs keep producing wins like they have been, she says, don't be surprised. Just, what, three weeks ago, we weren't even ranked. And then we go to the top 25, and then we go to number 16. Now we are in the top 10. I mean, it's so exciting. So we could be number two next week. You just never know. That's right. You just never know. But both Duncan and Richie do say uh, those wins against those old Southwest Conference rivals really stirred up the nostalgia here in Arkansas, which in turn does boost their sales. Now, both think that a good showing this coming weekend against Georgia, even if it is a loss, which they're hopefully obviously hoping it doesn't become a loss, but they still think a good showing will keep the hype train coming right through the heart of central Arkansas. But for now, live in Little Rock, Jay Burr, Fox 16 News.